Yeah, let's start our talk by reciting the Mordasa three times. Namo dasa bhagavato arahato sama sambuddhasa Namo dasa bhagavato arahato sama sambuddhasa Namo dasa bhagavato arahato sama sambuddhasa So tonight uh, we will teach Bodha Man Subama Sota. It is uh, in the Sanyoda Nikaya, uh, Nidana Vaika Sanyoda. It is a teaching about the nutriment uh, ahara in Bali. So I may explain in the beginning about the name of uh, soda. So uh, there are three kinds of teaching in the Buddha's teaching. Uh, Vinaya, Sauta, and Abhidhamma. So Vinaya is, uh, uh, we call Anadesana, rule of teaching. Uh, there are many rules. Uh, in the Vinaya, especially for the vehicles, what you should do, what you should not do. So, but for the Sota, we call a Vohara Desana. Uh, Vohara is uh, uh, saying as a conventional truth. Uh, so in the Sota, we can hear uh, rich man as a rich man, uh, Dewa as a Dewa. Uh, it is different from Bhidhamma. Uh, Bhidhamma, in the Bhidhamma, the Buddha may teach Brahmata, uh, ultimate uh, reality. So, uh, Bhidhamma is a Brahmata Desana. Uh, Brahmata Desana is the uh, ultimate teaching. So, because of this, uh, in the Bhidhamma, only you may hear uh, like uh, uh, Namarupa or Five Gold Gates or Chaita Chaita Sikas, uh, like that. So, but in the Sota, uh, there are like uh, stories, uh, kings, devas, uh, humans, something like that. Uh, because of this, the uh, Sota is a Wohara Desana, uh, using normal usage, uh, not, not using ultimate reality. Uh, because of this, uh, Sota is uh, easy to understand. Uh, uh, because of easy to understand, it is called the Sota. Uh, one of the definitions is the Sota, uh, well taught. Uh, why we, we have to say well taught? Because it is uh, easy to understand. Uh, so people may like it. So, uh, so it is the Minyo Sota, a little bit. Um, teaching about the soda. So next, uh, the name of soda is a Bodha Man Supama. So three words are joining, combining Bodha, Mansa, and Upama. So Bodha is a sun, Mansa is a flesh or meat, uh, Upama is a simile. <clears throat> so the simile of the sun's flesh. The sun is a flesh. So we shall start. So Savatthaya in the Savati. When the Buddha was staying in the Savati, taught this Sota. So there are four kinds of aharas. 
for the existence of uh, beings uh, who are called Buddha. Uh, for the spotting of beings for the Samboesi. So you may hear two kinds of beings. One is a Buddha. Uh, one is a uh, Samboesi. Uh, Buddha is a uh, who has been or who had been. Uh, so it uh, referred to Arahanda. Uh, for the Arahanda, uh, a kind of, uh, he is a, a kind of being who has been, who had been. Means uh, no more reborn. This life is uh, the last life. So it is uh, referred to Arahanda. So uh, four kinds of nutrition or nutrients are uh, for the existing of uh, Arahanda. Next kind of being is called Samboesi, who are finding lives, who are finding lives. So it is uh, no Arahandas. Putojana, Sotabana, Sekadagami, Nagami, or uh, uh, Samboesi, who are finding lives. So, uh, like we are finding lives, uh, always we do karma. Now you are listening to Dharma, it is a kind of good karma. Uh, so, this karma may produce a human and a life. Something like we are finding lives. So, no Arahantas are called Samboesi who are finding a life. So, uh, four kinds of nutrients are for the existing of uh, beings who are called the Buddha. It means Arahanda. For the supporting of uh, beings who are called Samboesi. Samboesi means uh, Samboesi, uh, life finder. Uh, so, who are finding lives. So it means no Aranda. So <clears throat> about these two words uh, you may hear in the Metta Soda. Buddha uh, wa, Samboesi wa, something like that. So, uh, so uh, can four kinds of nutrients uh, can spot, uh, can make Aranda to exist for this life, uh, can support, uh, the other beings, no arhandats. Uh, so, what are four? Number one, gabligaro aharo, gabligara ahara. It means a food. Nutriment, uh, which is, uh, 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 which should be made uh, with like mouth food. Because, uh, uh, especially, uh, there are nutrients in the food. In, in your mouth food. Uh, so because of this, it is called Gabligara. Uh, so means, uh, uh, do, do, do we remember, do remember easily, it is a food. Gabligara, ahara, one kind of nutriment. <clears throat> uh, maybe it is a gross, maybe it is a saddle. So different food we have. Paso Dutiyo. Pasa is the second, second nutriment. Uh, pasa is a contact. So we have eye, we may contact a visible object. We have ear, we may contact with the sound. We, may ha we have a nose, we may contact a uh, smell. We have a tongue, we may uh, contact with, uh, uh, with the taste. We may have a body translucency or body sensitivity we may contact with the tangible object. So we have a mind, we may contact many objects by thinking. So it is called Pasa, a kind of mental factor arising within us all the time. <clears throat> so uh, Pasa is a second nutriment. Uh, next one, Mano Sanjetana Dadiya. The dad is Mano Sanjetana, Chetana volition, uh, some translator stimulation. You may call it karma. Kusala karma, agusala karma. 
it is a kind of nutrition or nutriment uh, for the sporting obedience. Uh, next one is Wanyana Stelta. Stelta. The fourth is uh, consciousness or awareness. So altogether, there are four kinds of nutrients. I will list again. Uh, food, contact, uh, chirana or karma, and uh, consciousness or awareness. <coughs> so these are four nutrients uh, for the sporting of beings who are called the Buddha. Uh, uh, for the existing of the beings who are called Buddha, it means Arahanda. For the spotting of uh, beings who are called Sambhavesi, who are finding in life, it means no Arahanda. So this is how that is teaching uh, about the four nutrients, how we should deal uh, with this kind of nutrient. So, uh, yeah, so in the uh, one teaching, uh, one cell die, if you know only one, uh, you know well, if you have a, a disenchantment, uh, this enchantment is uh, like a, a kind of feeling like uh, not, not happy uh, with that. Uh, so uh, you will be free from suffering. Uh, what is that? So all beings are uh, dependent on nutriment. Yeah. So uh, if you know nutriment, uh, and you can be free from suffering. Have this kind of teaching. Another teaching is uh, Kumara Benya in the Kodaka Nikaya. Uh, so teaching uh, Bande Sopaka, Samanera Sopaka. So uh, his ordinary way is uh, just asking question because it is uh, like a child, uh, very young. Uh, you may have in your teaching, what is a one, uh, what is a two, something like that. Do you have such a kind of teaching? Uh, what is a one? What is a two? Uh, for example, in Myanmar, we have a, what is a one? One, we call it dit. Uh, 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 the answer is uh, there is a dit, dit, do. <laughs> something like that. Something like uh, China, you may teach it. A apple, B banana, something like that. <laughs> so uh, this is uh, we have uh, 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 any language. Do you have? <coughs> what is the one? In Chinese? <laughs> huh? Something like A apple, B banana, something like that. So uh, in Myanmar, what is it? Uh, there is a did did do. Did it do is a kind of bird. Uh, some people that bird is called a mathematic bird because it did, did is in your mind, it is a one one. So two is uh, in English a two. D uh, plus D is uh, equal to two. So we call that bird uh, mathematic bird. So uh, what is a two? We call it nit. Uh, nit is like a yemo. Uh, because uh, yimo is a kind of cup. When you drink, uh, you may put it into the water. It is a kind of like a dripping, uh, ne, something like that. So in any language, uh, you may have uh, what is a one, what is a two, uh, what is a three, like that. Uh, in the Bodhisattva teaching also have a such kind of teaching because uh, in the Bodhisattva teaching, they are some young samurais, uh, the Buddha teach that kind of teaching. What is one? Can you answer? Someone can you answer? So when the Buddha asked Samanera Sopaka, also Samanera Rahula, what is one? So uh, Samanera answer, Sabe Sata Ahara Tidika. 
all beings are existing based on ahara nutrients. Uh, so, uh, so this is a kind of practice. You're trying to understand uh, ahara. If so, you will be fine. You will, you, you will be free from suffering. So, okay, one finish. Uh, second question. This is for the Samnera question. Uh, younger novice question. What is a two? Can you answer what is a two? You may be able to answer. Through them. Uh, can you hear their sound? Cannot. Okay. <laughs> if they're on, then. Uh, uh, okay. They can on. Uh, they can on. What is a two? They can ask their name. Huh? They can ask their calling them. <laughs> Brother JJ, what is the two? No, no, no. No, no. Okay. No, no, no. Okay, no, no, no. What is the two? Yeah, correct. Two is a no, no, no. If you understand the two, only two, no, no, no. So you will be free from suffering in the Buddha's teaching. Okay, next one. What is the three? What is the three? Uh, three types of Vedana. Buddha, Dhamma, and Sangha. Right. Three triple gens. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, what is the three? Is uh, they saw Vedana, three feeling like that. Uh, what is the four? Four Nova Truth. What is the five? Uh, five is uh, five, five aggregates. Uh, what is the six? Uh, six ayatanas, I think. Uh, so, what is the seven? Uh, what is the eight? Eight on over path. What is the nine? Uh, I forget that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Those are, those are uh, a kind of teaching. So uh, the Buddha teach uh, child uh, children, Samniras, uh, like uh, Samnira, Sopaka, uh, even Rahula. <coughs> so uh, this is, uh, Ahara is uh, number one. What is one? Uh, so uh, the answer is the uh, Sapisata Ahara Titika. All beings uh, existing based on nutrients. <clears throat> so, so first of all, uh, we're trying to learn about the Kavlikara Ahara, nutrients uh, making it like a mouth food, uh, not really mouth food, because uh, we do mouth food, the whole foods are not nutrients. Nutrients are inside, inside of food. So anyway, or we may say easily, it is a food. So we eat food every day. So what kind of mind we should have the Buddha teach in this sutta? <clears throat> so we will see Bali first in the, in the sutta. So the Buddha told uh, simile, there are two husband and wife. Uh, go into Gandhara desert. So uh, by bringing a little food, a little provision. So no much food. So Gandhara is a, you may translate uh, desert. Uh, so there are five kinds of Gandhara. Uh, mentioned uh, in the commentary, Chora Kandara. Uh, some, some deserts are uh, having thieves or robots. If you go, uh, they may fight you. So it is a kind of difficult journey. Uh, so maybe the journey is difficult to go. Uh, you may have hesitate uh, uh, where to go. So at that time, thieves are coming, fighting you. So next one is uh, Nirutaka Gandhara. Some deserts are 
no water. So you cannot get water. It, because of this, uh, especially in the past, if it, it is uh, difficult to go. So next one is Ababaka Gandhara. Uh, less food. You cannot get uh, food in that desert. So uh, it is also difficult. Uh, next one is Wala Gandhara. In the desert, uh, there are wild animals like tigers, lions. So uh, FIFA may not dare to go easily. The next one is uh, Amnosa Gandhara, uh, occupied by no human beings. So based on difficult journey, so they try to find uh, people, so weak people, easy to find. So become difficult journey. So those are called uh, Gandhara. <clears throat> so uh, in this Sota, uh, Gandhara means, uh, uh, so no water, no food. Uh, it may long about 100 yojanas. And one yojana may have about 12 miles. So why people have to go, have to cross uh, those uh, desert? Uh, so in their country, in their place, uh, not enough food, they are hungry. Another thing is uh, uh, they have a disease in their country. Uh, maybe like uh, this kind of disease, COVID. <laughs> so you may, in the past, you may need to cross Gandhara to go to another country. Uh, so sometimes because of bad government, the danger of government have to move another country. So. Uh, with this aim, they cross Gandhara. So they went to Gandhara with a little provision, a little food to eat. So they cross in the middle of Gandhara. Uh, after going about uh, 50 yojanas, uh, their provision is uh, finished. Their food is uh, finished. So they become hungry. They stay another uh, thin shady tree, have a tree, but uh, it is very thin and because of in the Gandhara, in the desert. <clears throat> so at that time, uh, the man told the wife, so only we have a cross, the 50 yojanas. Uh, so we are now in the middle of Gandhara. If uh, in our place, uh, I can do like a farming, like a plowing, uh, planting, or taking care of cows uh, to feed wife and children. Uh, but uh, here, I cannot do anything. So because of this, uh, not to die, oh, uh, the, going to uh, Kandara is a three person, husband, wife, and young child. Uh, Child, child, young, younger uh, son. Uh, so, not to die three person for the three person. So you come and kill me, uh, eat my my flesh. Uh, so some you eat, some you bring for your journey. Uh, so after crossing Kandara, uh, you may stay uh, with your son. <coughs> so husband told in this. Uh, uh, his wife uh, in this way. So, at that time, the wife was uh, told to husband, yes, here, I also cannot do any like making clothes. In the past, usually the ladies are making clothes cloth at the home. Uh, so, kill me, uh, eat my flesh, bring my flesh, and Go to Jani, uh, go to Jani. So at that time, husband didn't accept. So death of a wife is uh, uh, like a death of a boat. Uh, so at that time, husband started to suggest the other way. So like our child, our child is uh, uh, very young, uh, with a mother cannot survive. But if we both 
alive, we can get another child. <laughs> Something like that. So uh, now, by killing our uh, little baby, son, uh, uh, by taking sons of flesh. If we across Gandhara desert, it would be good. So, in this way, uh, give a suggestion. So, at that time, the mother uh, told her son, a little son, uh, so, and the son, please go to there, you go to your father. Maybe father like me kill. <laughs> so, uh, very hard to say, uh, very poor things. Huh? So, uh, go to the father. So, at that time, father told, oh, as a father, uh, by thinking that uh, I will feed my son, I did a lot of, uh, I suffered, I have a lot of suffering uh, by doing jobs, by doing plumbing, uh, by taking care of accounts, uh, as a earning, for the earning. So, how can I have such a kind of ability to kill own, to kill own son? Oh, son, please go to mother. Mother may kill. <laughs> so, uh, at that time, mother also uh, said in this way, uh, so to get a son, I have a suffering, a lot of suffering. Uh, before having a son, I have to wish by going into the big tree uh, to ask Dewa to give a son, maybe it is a kind of practice in the past. Also, he has say, have to practice like a cow, have to practice like a dog. I don't know how to practice, but uh, uh, maybe in the past, uh, they may have some kind of wrong view or right view, I don't know. So to get a son, they have to do. So, uh, I'd rather uh, get a pregnant at that time because of bringing into the mother womb. Uh, so I love more. So how can I have the ability to kill her own son? Please go to your father. So send it back. So at that time, in between the mother and father, by going here and there, so the son was so hungry and the passed away. So they take uh, son no choice. They, they are also hungry. They need to cross a difficult journey. So I uh, have some kind of saying uh, in the, even in the Sanyota Nikaya, uh, the Dewa, uh, one, one Dewa come to the Buddha. He, he, he recite one stanza. Nati Bodhasama Pema. There is uh, uh, no lovers similar to sun. There is uh, no lovers similar to sun. They were told to the Buddha. His idea. So means uh, parents' love is the most, uh, the most love. But uh, the Buddha didn't accept. Nati adasman bema. There is, uh, there are no lovers similar to own self. So, if a suffering is uh, come to us uh, very slowly, uh, very deeply, so even uh, make kill own son. It is a kind of nature, it is a kind of possibility. So also have a, we, we have a, a Burmese a proverb, go me chi, a mito le, ta If uh, 
uh, uh, self suffering although uh, it is mother uh, we now have a relationship as a son so uh, something like that uh, so because of this uh, they are very hungry very suffering uh, as a logic also if they they don't eat uh, their son's flesh uh, they all will die so something not beneficial so now the child they passed away in between uh, so uh, they take your flesh uh, so flesh uh, like uh, like uh, small things and uh, drying up uh, some some cannot do long long one if so uh, a piece of flesh collect with a stick uh, with a uh, with a stick and you you should put into the into the flesh and dry under the sun or over fire so <clears throat> in this way they bring so they are eating such kind of meat also they are beating their chest, their breast. Kahang e kabotika, kahang e kabotika. Where is our little son? Where is our little son? So eating in this way. So the Buddha giving a simile: when you eat food, uh, you should eat in this way. It is uh, the way of eating. The Buddha wants. Uh, so, well, should not eat uh, for the amusement. Should not eat uh, with the negligence. Uh, should not eat uh, like a bodybuilding. Uh, so, just uh, you trying to eat uh, your food, uh, do across Gandhara, difficult journey. Means uh, not to have a craving about the food. So, if you have such a kind of perception, if you have such a kind of understanding about the food, so we may understand about the five kinds of sensualities, like seeing visible object, sound, smell, taste, and the tangible. If you understand about the five kinds of sensuality very well, you will not have Sanyojana, fetters, uh, uh, which is uh, uh, connecting to lives. Uh, so, uh, even no Sanyojana, you will not come, you will not come, you, you will not come uh, this life, this world, because uh, human and the world, worlds are. Uh, we are happy by seeing, by listening, by smelling, by eating, by touching. So if we cannot enjoy with those things, we will not come to the human life. It means like an Adami, no return. Those people will go to Brahmara realm. So, and this is a so does a saying we will explain in detail. So, now when we eat, what kind of perception we should have? Uh, so, now have a give a simile we should eat like a beating uh, chest, uh, if so, why they eat? just to do a cross, difficult journey. So because of this, uh, uh, we as a bhikkhu, the Buddha taught uh, to reflect whenever we eat. I only saw Bhajan Bodhisattva and we use by reflecting in a proper way. So. Uh, no for eating amusement uh, no no uh, not eating 
uh, for the negligence. Uh, uh, like the boxers, uh, they want to have a muscle, so uh, something like that. Some of all the beautiful, uh, like uh, some kind of food that can have a good skin, something like that, good complexion, uh, some are muscle, like that, not to eat, uh, uh, just to remove uh, hunger, uh, not to have uh, overeating. Uh, so uh, just uh, to stay happily, uh, so we have to eat. To stay happily is uh, to stay comfortable, to be comfort, uh, to be comfortable. So sometimes uh, if we don't reflect after eating, not comfortable. So very tired, need to lie down. So I think uh, you may not have eaten. Huh? If you have a and you, you may be sleepy now. So it is not, not to be comfortable. Uh, so in this way, have to reflect. If we reflect the daily, so it is a changing mind, a little bit slowly changing. Uh, you may not attach to the food so much. It is beneficial for the health, especially for the practice, for the liberation. So if we attach to something, even a little bit, we may not free from suffering because we have a craving, we are happy in life. If so, we cannot free from life. So if we cannot free from uh, life, we cannot free from suffering. Something like that. Uh, because of this uh, uh, reflection for the food, it is uh, very important. So why the Buddha have to teach uh, this is so dumb. So according to commentary's explanation, uh, because of events. In the Buddha time, because of Buddha's barami, uh, have a lot of gains, a lot of honors for the Buddha, because the Buddha has uh, fulfilled uh, a lot of paramis uh, for uncountable uh, 100,000 eons. So this is the last life. All gammas are like trying to produce only for this life. Because of this, uh, even people, kings, brahmins, following Buddha, where is Buddha? They are trying to offer a lot of things, uh, trying to pay respect, a lot of honor, uh, so, because of this, uh, the Buddha has a lot of gains. In the same way, bhikkhus. Uh, bhikkhus are, in that time, at that time, have a lot of barami. Because of their karma also, uh, bhikkhus are very venerable. They are practitioners. Uh, they practice a lot. No, correct. Uh, they practice a lot. So, uh, because of this, uh, uh, people are very venerate, uh, want to offer a lot, want to pay a lot of honor. So uh, a lot of gains. Because of this, uh, uh, so the Buddha start to uh, start to think uh, about the past Buddha, um, future Buddha, and um, present Buddha. Uh, will be the same things. So, uh, also the Buddha reflect how bhikkhus are eating with attachment or without attachment. At that time, the Buddha saw some bhikkhus who are eating with attachment. So at that time, the Buddha get dhamma uh, samvega. Uh, but fear with the knowledge, or may say knowledge with the fear. Uh, for example, if you are knowledgeable, you may not be able to eat any, any harm food uh, because uh, some foods are dangerous. If uh, we eat, uh, we may get a disease. So knowledgeable person may afraid to eat uh, some kind of food. So uh, such kind of fear is uh, uh, fear with the knowledge. We call it samwega. We fear about the life. We fear 
we are afraid about the enjoyment, uh, sensualities. Uh, so such a kind of fear is called Sanwega, fear with uh, knowledge. So we should have a fear about the fearful things. Uh, so the Buddha has uh, Sanwega, fear with the wisdom by thinking about the Dharma. So bhikkhus are eating uh, with attachment, some bhikkhus are eating with attachment. It is uh, something dangerous. So the Buddha thing, thought, I have a fulfilled environment, no, no for the food, no for the robes, no for the dwelling place, no for the medicine, only for the hardship. In the same way, these bhikkhus uh, coming into my dispensation uh, for the hardship. But uh, because now have many gains, uh, they start to eat uh, with the enjoyment, uh, with attachment. So how should I do? So if it is possible to lay down a kind of rule called Parajika, uh, you may know for the vehicles, there are four Parajikas. Uh, four para, Parajika means uh, uh, we will lose a vehicle life if we commit this kind of offense, like uh, uh, sex uh, with any, even animals or male or female, uh, like that. I say Beku, if I do, need to disrupt. Uh, so need to relinquish Beku life, cannot ordain a gay. And next one is stealing. If you steal, uh, Beku steal, uh, uh, for example, like uh, one or two hundred dollars, something like that. Uh, as, so, uh, so no more bhikkhus. I need to disrobe. Cannot ordain again in this life. So the next one is uh, killing a human, uh, even like abortion, if it's a jest. So uh, it is uh, can lo well lose a bhikkhu life. Another thing is uh, telling a lie about the attainment, like a jhana. Uh, Absorption, attainment, uh, uh, mega pala nibbana. If you do telling lie, uh, need to relinquish life, uh, bhikkhu life. So these are called the four kinds of rule, four parajika. So the Buddha thought, if it is possible, five parajika, it will be eating with attachment. But I should not have this kind of rule because uh, it is a daily, uh, 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 daily life uh, eating. Once uh, uh, you eat without reflection, you will lose a parajika episode, will be <laughs> no more bhikkhus now. <laughs> so very difficult to, to control, but it is dangerous. Uh, it is dangerous. It may disturb, liberation, uh, being free from suffering. Uh, for example, uh, we bhikkhus, uh, some bhikkhus uh, staying in the forest. If so, they may not have a visible object to be attached. Uh, they may not have a uh, music uh, to listen, and they may not have a perfume to smell, but still have uh, eating. Uh, may not have a uh, good touching, uh, so, but eating is a problem. You, 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 cannot, you cannot quit. You cannot cut off totally. You, you must eat for your practice. But if you attach to it, uh, so you cannot get a liberation. So because of this, I must have a way not to attach for the food. Uh, so, because of this, uh, how, how should I do about this case? Uh, because it is a daily events. So uh, the Buddha, okay, I'm going to teach reflection. Uh, by reflecting uh, whenever you eat, it may be able to cut off uh, attachment about the food.
So because of this event, the Buddha trying to teach this is so dumb. Yeah, this is uh, the events uh, uh, teaching. This is so dumb. So when we eat, uh, or someone have to has to eat uh, own some flesh, it is uh, disgusting. Why it is uh, disgusting? One is uh, because of own own nature. Uh, like a human, eat a human, it is all nature. Uh, so all nature flesh, it is disgusting. Even some animals may not eat their own flesh, all nature flesh. So eating all nature flesh is disgusting. Uh, we may have some kind of people staying in the forest eating human to human. Uh, we are disgusting. So. Because of this, uh, it is uh, disgusting. Another thing is uh, relatives' uh, flesh. Because it is own son. It is our relatives. Eating relatives' uh, flesh is uh, it is uh, disgusting. Another thing is uh, because of son's uh, flesh. It is uh, disgusting. Uh, son's uh, flesh, uh, sometimes uh, if we hate, maybe possible to, to eat. So, but uh, this is a lovely son. They love. Because of no choice, need to cross a Kandara, uh, hungry, uh, also will die. It is all, all three parts have to eat, but it is uh, disgusting. Another thing is uh, because of tender flesh. Sometimes it is if if it is very tender, it is a, a kind of disgusting. Another thing is it is raw meat. Maybe maybe in the Kandara in the desert, uh, you cannot cook. Uh, so have to eat uh, raw meat. If so, it is uh, disgusting. So, <clears throat> so uh, because of uh, not should develop meat to eat, so disgusting. So next one is uh, because of no salt. So salt is uh, quite important uh, to eat meat uh, or to eat any food. So if there is uh, no salt, it is a uh, kind of disgusting. So. Because of no spicy, so normally meats uh, have a bad smell, or you may call it stink, I don't know. So to disappear those kind of smell, usually you may put ginger, you may put turmeric, so uh, star, something, or garlic. If so, uh, you, you can make a nice smell. So may not have uh, such a uh, bad smell. So. But they are in Kandara, no have such a spicy thing. Because of this, it is uh, disgusting. So uh, the Buddha mentioned nine ways uh, uh, for the disgusting feeling uh, about the own son. In the same way, when you eat your food, uh, you should eat in nine ways uh, to have a disgusting feeling. When we eat uh, own sun, uh, own sun is a flesh, uh, so no have attachment, uh, uh, no have uh, negligence. In the same way, when we eat uh, food, uh, we should eat uh, without uh, attachment. Okay, so you, you should try. Have you eaten tonight? So you should try in this way without attachment. Uh, next one is, uh, so normally in a bowl we eat, so we may choose, uh, uh, especially when we eat uh, meat, uh, we may choose uh, where is the thick flesh. Uh, small flesh on the bone you may not eat uh, if, if you have a choice. So usually you may eat uh, like a thick, thicker, uh, thicker flesh. We choose and eat, but uh, uh, they are in Kandara eating own sons. They may not choose, uh, oh, this is a small, this is a big, whatever meat in the hand they may eat. So in the same way, uh, bhikkhus uh, do practice. Uh, in the bowl, you put your hand, you should not choose this and that. So whatever food coming into the hand, you should eat. So uh, uh, next one is, uh, 
uh, should not eat until the throat. <laughs> Uh, until the throat. Some people eat until the throat, maybe. <laughs> so if you have good food, uh, so uh, some people after eating get a vomit. Mm. So um, I heard some people, maybe you know, they, they, they want to maintain the body, body shape, uh, I want to say, and not to be so fat. But they want to eat because they have to avoid many times. So they are so hungry. After eating, they, they vomit. <laughs> so, uh, so not to eat until the throat. Only eat uh, something it do be enough. After that, a cro cross, trying to cross a kandara. In the same way as a practitioner, you may eat some amount of food to go to your journey for practice something to eat, uh, just enough. Okay, next one is, uh, uh, normally when some people eat, uh, uh, getting, how to say, jealous, especially like uh, children. So if they have a good food, if it is not enough, I mean, you know, your parents may give this kind of food, or if you don't eat, I will give, I will give it other ones. So, Younger one have jealous. So uh, sometimes uh, may have among the practitioners, yeah, you may have a good gains, uh, they may not have a good gains. Sometimes in the mind may have some jealous. So not to have uh, such kind of jealous. So you are in Kandara eating sun's flesh. So are uh, you are eating big meat? I'm eating small meat. No, you should not do like that. In the same way, among the practitioners, if you stay in a retreat, maybe someone may have good food. <laughs> so sometimes uh, if we are hungry, uh, we may have jealous in mind. So should not eat. With a pure mind, you should eat. So it is a crossing, trying to cross Gandhara and eating own meat, own son's meat. So should eat with a pure mind. Uh, so in the same way, another way, another thing is uh, when we eat like uh, uh, garlic meat, uh, pig's meat, uh, so we may eat with the delusion, without understanding, without knowing anything. Uh, so just go, uh, just follow uh, desire. Uh, but now it's uh, trying to cross. Gandhara, uh, eating all meat. You should eat with understanding. That is our, our own son. So in the same way, uh, by understanding, by practicing, uh, you should eat. So uh, another perception, uh, another idea of eating is, uh, uh, so they are eating own son's flesh. Uh, they may not think. Oh, it would be good if we have such kind of food next time. May not have this wish. In the same way, as a practitioner, uh, when you eat, uh, you should not have this kind of mind. Oh, next time I should have this kind of food, oh, very delicious. So, as a baker, especially practitioner. So based on donors and designer, sometimes we may have good food. So at that time, uh, we may have a wish normally. So if, uh, it, it, it would be good if we have uh, this kind of food next time. Uh, so uh, this is a uh, uh, no good perception. So another thing is, uh, another perception is uh, uh, Normally, we have this in mind, if it is good, good meat, uh, we, may, uh, uh, we may do something fermented, uh, we may store for the next time to eat. So, but now eating own sun is a flat perception is like that. So after crossing in Kampara, so, we will throw this kind of meat, uh, not trying to eat next time. 
So their aim is just to cross Sekandara desert, difficult, no for many uh, eating. So after crossing Kandara, they may throw away this kind of meat or may dig into the art, put into the art or the practitioner. You should not store many foods in your good, in your dwelling place. Mm? Many insects will come, many ants will come, so many mouths. So you will be busy with the food. You cannot focus on your meditation. So uh, eat, uh, not, not to store. Uh, for the next day, you may go to Baina Banda, whatever food you work at, you should eat. So, uh, next one, next perception is uh, uh, so, not to have uh, like a conceit, uh, not to have a negligence when you are eating. So, uh, put down your conceit, uh, negligence, and eat. Normally, some people, you know, go to rest a good restaurant. Uh, uh, very beautiful, uh, foods are very, very nice, not only taste, but also uh, appearance, uh, very nice. So before eating, they may take a photo and put it into the Facebook. So uh, that is uh, eating with negligence, uh, with the conceit. Uh, so uh, eat in this way. So uh, next, uh, next kind of perception is uh, not to have, or uh, not to look down uh, food. Uh, because uh, sometimes uh, some people offer no good food uh, for the vehicles. Sometimes uh, uh, there's no food uh, for, the, for their self to eat, uh, to eat for them, uh, for, for their self, uh, for, for them, by themselves, uh, not for offer, but uh, later on, you know, and near to about to be expired, <laughs> so at that time they may donate. So sometimes uh, their food, the food that they donate is no good. So uh, sometimes uh, if we don't practice, if uh, we follow according to our normal mind, we may look down for that food. Why offer this kind of food near to expire or expired already? Uh, so, um, uh, because uh, they are like uh, own sons of flesh, uh, they are eating. Although it is uh, not spicy, uh, uh, not like a uh, sauce uh, or salt, uh, they, they will not look down. They just uh, eat. For what? To cross Gandhara desert. So, it is a kind of exception to practice. <clears throat> Uh, next one is, uh, next perception is uh, if we eat uh, normally with a normal mind, we have to share. Uh, this is for you, this is for me, maybe this is for the bakers, this is for the share, like that. Uh, sometimes if we don't have a good mind, uh, it uh, can break uh, unity, unification, because of not enough food. You, you, you have a better food. I don't have better food, uh, something like that. So uh, this kind of perception is a possible, uh, it is a possibility among practitioners. So you're trying to eat with the perception of own son's flesh. So husband and wife may not say, this is my, for you, this is for me, may not do such argument. They may eat quietly, uh, being united. Uh, so, without quarreling, without argument. Okay, so, so these are nine kinds of ways uh, to be discussed about the food. So uh, they eat their own son's flesh. Uh, they have a disgusting feeling. So you trust uh, about what you are eating. So if you reflect, uh, those kind of teaching, you reflect uh, gananga. So not stopping uh, uh, eating your food, you may continue to eat, uh, but you need to reflect. So reflection is uh, a kind of way to change your mind to reach uh, proper eating.
Uh, so if we reflect uh, Gananga, so slowly mind will change slowly. Uh, so later on, you see good food, you may not have uh, much attachment. Or uh, also, you may not need to spend a lot of money uh, for the good restaurant. Also, you may be able to maintain your body weight. <laughs> so uh, uh, these are similes of uh, own son's uh, flesh. Uh, it is uh, to deal with your food. So today we will stop. Time is up for the uh, question and answer. Uh, next time we will continue uh, what are the other ways, the other reflections for the eating. Okay. If you have any question, uh, you, you can ask. Uh, I may be able to answer. Uh, there's one question. Good evening, Pante. The husband and wife who end up eating their son's flesh, will they have any akusala kama? <laughs> uh, so, yes, uh, if they, they try to kill or they kill, surely they will have akusala kama. If die, uh, so uh, it is self. Uh, so eating is uh, based on your reflection. Uh, by eating, may not have uh, agusala, if uh, no detriment, just to do a cross. But uh, if trying to kill, if kill, uh, uh, so it is agusala. Mm. No, because uh, this is uh, just a simile, uh, possibility the Buddha, the Buddha taught. Mm. No mean to kill own son in a Kandara. <laughs> to kill own son in any situation, or to kill anybody, uh, no mean like that. Mm. Uh, repeat after me. Idame ponyam, Idame ponyam, Asawakayam, Asawakayam, Wahan hodu, Idame ponyam, Idame ponyam, Ibanasa, Ibanasa, Ayo, 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 Mama Bonya Bagam, Mama Sabata Danum, Sabata Jamie, Bajemi, Elta Bay, Mesama, Bonya Bagam, Sadu, 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 Sadu,